بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ریسنٹیشنٹیوز Learning objectives. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe the functions of management, concept of planning, along with its rational need and steps to carry out it. Now, what is management? It is getting the right things done in right way, in right time, by right persons, with right amount of resources and effective use of resources. Health system management is defined as purposeful and efficient use of health system resources and to get members of the health team coordinated to work harmoniously in order to achieve the desired common goals and objectives. Now, aims of health management. First is to improve population health. Second is scaling up the quantity and quality of health services according to the perceived needs and demands of the community. Need of management in health system. Integration of health program departments, overload of work and distribution of work, changing health needs and health dem demands, improvement of health care delivery system, applying modern management methods and techniques. <laughs> Now functions. It includes planning, organizing, staffing, controlling, directing and decision making, coordinating, reporting, budgeting, innovation, representation, delegation. These are the seven, uh, seven main functions of management, which includes planning, organization, staffing, directing, coordination, reporting, budgeting. We will discuss each one by one. First comes planning. Planning is deciding in advance, that is what to do, how to do, why to do, where to do, and who will be responsible for doing his planning. It bridges the gap from where we are to where we want to go. It makes it possible for things to occur which would not otherwise happen. Then comes sec uh, uh, second function, organizing. Uh, organization is the process of identifying and grouping of the works to be performed, defining and delegation responsibility, authority, establishing relationships for the purpose of enabling people to work most efficiently. Division of work into functions and subfunctions, grouping of activities that are closely relating their nature, assigning of duties, responsibilities to the uh, employees, and finally, delegation of authority and power to each employer, the group to discharge their duties accordingly at the process come under the function of management organizing. It includes division of work, departmentation, linking departments, assigning duties, defining hierarchical structure. Then comes directing. Uh, it is defined as activating deals with the steps a manager takes to get subordinates and others to carry out plans. It is nothing but guiding and leading the people in an organization. It is not just giving instructions by a superior to the subordinate, but also process of supervising, guiding, motivating the latter to uh, achieve the organization goals. Then comes staffing. It is defined as... Um, Uh, it is a function by which managers build an organization through recruitment, selection, development of individuals as a cap uh, capable employees. Uh, its importance is filling the organizational positions, developing competencies to challenges, retaining personal professionalism, optimum utilization of the human resources. It includes analyzing manpower equipments, recruitment, selection, placement, training and development, and performance appraisal. Controlling. It is determined. Uh, it is determining what is being accomplished. That is evaluating performance and, if necessary, applying corrective measures so that performance takes place according to plans. It is a process that ensures whether the resources are obtained and used efficiently in achieving the organizational objectives. Then comes reporting. Uh, it is referred as a body of information organized for presentation or transmission to others. It often includes interpretations, recommendations, and findings with supporting evidence in the form of other reports. Uh, so uh, an organized method of providing crucial information to the top decision makers across all management levels with helping them monitor the business performance. Then comes the last function that is budgeting. It is the overseeing of revenue and expenditure tracking in an organization. Managing a budget involves analyzing current spending, organizing purchases by category, and monitoring cash flow over time. 
Then comes our second topic that is concept of planning. Now, what is planning? It is the process of setting goals, developing strategies, and outlining tasks and schedules to accomplish the goals. It is deciding in advance, it is what to do, how to do, and who is to do it. And it is it bridges the gap between where we are to where we want to go. It makes possible things to occur which would not otherwise occur. Health planning. It is an orderly process of defining community health problems, identifying unmet needs, serving uh, serving the resources to meet them, establishing priority goals that are realistic and feasible, and projecting administrative action to accomplish the purpose of the proposed program. Uh, uh, according to WHO, the aim of health planning is to maintain and improve health status of a given community. It is achieved the provision of health services which are accessible, effective, equitable, and of a quality to ensure their appropriate utilization. Now, why planning? The increasing demand for medical and healthcare services in the face of limited resources has brought out the need for careful planning and management of health services. The purpose is to match the limited resources with many problems, to eliminate wasteful expenditure and avoid duplication, to develop the best course of action to accomplish a defined objective. Features. The plan... Uh, it should be a good plan and that should give clear vision, mission, mission, goal, objectives, clear picture of tasks to be accomplished, resources needed to accomplish their task, human resources, material, money, time, space, and information. It should uh, take place at all levels. Uh, that uh, means it takes place at any level in health system. Planning takes place continually. That is, it's a cyclical process. It can be applied to a large program at national level, like malaria control program, or small one, like at village level. Then, uh, planning must be collective undertaking. It requires the participation of professionals, NGOs, government, or any other party. Types of planning, there are two main types, strategic planning, tactical operational planning. Strategic planning referred as allocative planning, normally five years or more. And tactical operational planning may be referred to as activity planning. It covers a short period of time, medium term, that is usually one year. Strategic planning, it is a process of determining what an organization intends to be in the future and how it will get there. It is finding the best future for your organization and the best part to reach the destination. SWOT. It uh, is an acronym for Strength, Weakness, Opportunities, and Threats. It is a strategic planning tool that matches internal organizational strengths and weakness with external opportunities and threats. By reviewing strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats, it is a useful strategy for achieving objectives to become evident. In health sectors, strengths may be considered availability of resources and trained human power. Weakness include lack of managerial uh, talent and obsolete facilities. Threats include adverse cultural beliefs towards modern medicine practice and growing cost of essential drugs. Example of opportunities are clear and supportive government policies, presence of a functional health committee in the communities. Tactical operational planning is a short-range planning that emphasizes the current operations of various parts of the organization. Uh, short range is defined as a period extending only about one year or less into the future. Health needs and demands. The purpose of health planning is to meet the health needs and demands of the people. Health needs is defined as deficiencies in health that call for preventive, curative, control, eradication measures. The needs for safe water supply, sanitation, control of communicable diseases, medical care, hospital dispensaries, public health services, family planning, immunization are all community health needs. In democratic country, developing country people's needs may be presented as demands. Then comes uh, the terms objectives, targets, and goals. An important element of planning is the setting of clear-cut objectives, targets, goals. Objective is a planned endpoint of all activities. It is stated in terms of measured amount of progress towards goal. Targets, when the objective split into discrete activity, it becomes target like number of items may collected or to be actively done. Goal, it is an ultimate desired state towards which the objectives and resources are directed. It is not constrained by time. Resources nor are they necessarily attainable. They are uh, formulated top level and they are generally broad, for example, health for all. Planning for health involves three types of activities, assessment of current status, identification of the desired state, specification of interventions and other activities to achieve the new desired state. Planning cycle. It is a dynamic process involving three steps, planning, implementation, evaluation, and if no favorable outcome, change the plan, implement, and reevaluate. These are the steps of health planning. First is analysis of health situation, objectives and goals, assessment of resources, priorities, formulating plan, programming and implementation, monitoring and evaluation in the end of the 
planning sir uh, analysis of health situation the minimum essential requirement of health plan includes population its age sex structure mortality morbidity stats epidemiology geographical distribution of diseases medical uh, care facilities manpower available training facilities available beliefs and attitude of people towards health disease its cure and prevention Establishment of goals and objectives. Objectives are the guide for action. They may be long term, short term. In setting up these objectives, time and resources are important factors. They should be smart, that is, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Assessment of resources, resources like manpower, money, material, skills, knowledge, and techniques. Then fixing priorities. It establishes the priorities in order of um, Magnitude of health problems. Prioritization is based on financial constraint, mortality, morbidity, data, diseases, which can be prevented below cost, political and community interest. Then writing up formulated plan. The plan should be complete in all aspects. Input required for the health program and the output expected. Cost and time needed for each stage of implementation of health program. Working guidance for all those involved in the implementation of health program. And must contain a building system of evaluation. Programming and implementation. Once the plan is approved by policy making authorities, program implementation are begun. Monitoring. It is a, conti a continuous process of observing, recording, reporting on the activities of organization or project. Evaluation is the final step of health planning. It measures the degree to which objectives and targets are fulfilled and quality of the results obtained. This is the planning cycle consisting of 11 steps, which we are going to discuss one by one. First is plan the planning. It, this stage reels with prerequisites that have to be in place and issues that have to be resolved before actual planning exercise may start. The objective is to ensure that planning process can be carried out smoothly. Uh, determine specific terms of reference of the plan, that is what has to be planned, purpose of planning, defining target work, for what time period, identify resources available. Then review of policy guidelines is a process of familiarization, government directives, and conditions that must be followed in preparation of the health plans to ensure the health plan is in line with government national health policy, for example, national reproductive health package, safe motherhood, family planning, detection of breast and cervical cancer, and fertility. Situational analysis. It is the process of analyzing and interpreting all information available from the various sources on the current situation of the health system as it prevails within the specific geographic area under consideration. Specific purposes of situational analysis to identify health problems and health needs to determine causes and circumstances underlying problems in the health situation, to assess availability and adequacy of resource in the light of health service needs, and to identify gaps and weakness in the healthcare services. These are of two types. Uh, uh, it consists of two parts, descriptive and analytic. The descriptive part describes the situation as it is at present. This helps in assessing the magnitude of the problems, which in turn helps in prioritizing the problems. The analytical part deals with the factors that determine the existing situation and is used subsequently for developing appropriate interventions. Review of available resources to assess these would help in determining the scope of the health plan and selection of intervention strategies like manpower, material, physical resources, and money. Intangible resources like information, uh, official documents, policies, goals, objectives, and programs, etc. Development of intervention. It is the process of identifying, short listing, and developing intervention measures from among a variety of potential interventions. The objective is to identify and develop most appropriate interventions for existing health needs, like three day delay models. This is the picture to show the three delay model. Then setting plan, objectives, and uh, targets. It is the process of defining what one wants to achieve within a planned period of time in the light of earlier identified health needs. The main purpose is to highlight what planners wish to achieve, enable a focused selection of inputs and activities that will bring about these. Uh, these are the examples to differentiate among uh, aims, objectives, and targets. Aim, for example, improve reproductive health services in district PASO. Then comes long-term objective or objectives like maternal mortality shall be reduced from a current uh, this figure within four years from 2005 to 2008. Short-term objectives or sub-objectives, for example, all pregnant women in all villages of the district are given advice or antenatal care in the first year. And by the end of 2007, 80% of women delivering in villages of district will be assessed by trained uh, birth assistants. So here we can see that there is a difference of time period.
if we are going to differentiate between objectives and sub-objectives. Then setting targets, for example, number of midwives to be trained, number of training sessions to be held, number of tetanus injection to be given, percentage of complications seen in the main hospital. Adjusting management organization system. The management organization system is the coordinating center for all health service activities. The main purpose is to ensure maximal efficiency and effectiveness of, all, uh, of the healthcare delivery system. Among several functions of the annual system, the most important one addresses manpower, money, material issues, and the functioning of the support system. Preparing the budget. Preparing the plan, which is the process of translating inputs, targets, activities into the money. The main purpose is to identify overall financial requirements by plan period and individual year, identify financial requirements by line item and by specific program, and enable performance budgeting. Developing plan of operations. A plan of operations is the written summary of the implementation plan, specifying sequence and timing of responsibilities for implementation of main objectives, results, and activities. Uh, the operation plan provides a set of ready guidelines for the day-to-day -day running, periodic assessment of the functioning of health services for the plan implementer. One of the most useful tools in the preparation of a plan of operations is the Gantt chart. This is the picture of Gantt chart. Planning for monitoring and evaluation. It is a quality control mechanism and forms part of management organization responsibilities. It is important for the success of health interventions. The purpose is to render healthcare as efficient and effective as is possible. And um, the importance was to determine whether objectives and results are being reached. Uh, then comes evaluation. These are the four main types. Process evaluation, which evaluates how the project outcomes were worked towards and the effectiveness of this process. Second is formative evaluation, which provides feedback to the project as to the effectiveness of the methods used to achieve outcomes in order to inform project changes. Then comes impact or outcome evaluation, it evalu uh, evaluates the impact resulting from the project and what has changed as a result. Summative evaluation, which summarizes what outcomes the project achieved, the impact of this, what has changed as a result, how it did this, and the effectiveness of this process, and many changes made, any changes made. Now, recent updates. Health planning in Pakistan, a case study. So, uh, despite some strengths, the health planning system in Pakistan has generally failed to provide the framework to allow such an approach. Links between strategic and operational uh, planning have been weak. Decision making has been centralized. There has been a lack of functional clarity. The respective roles of bureaucrats and politicians have been unclear. Links between capital and return budgets and between planning and implementation have been weak. As a result, there is a number of imbalances in the allocation of resources. The introduction of a revised health planning system for Pakistan is discussed in this case study, also along with constraints on such system and initial assessment of its success. Then strategic analysis for healthcare organization, the suitability of SORT analysis. In this paper, four case studies are presented on the use of SORT analysis in different parts of the healthcare sector in the Netherlands. By comparing these results with the premises of the SWOT and academic critic, it will be argued that the SWOT in its current form is not suitable as a tool for strategic analysis in healthcare in many European countries. Based on these findings, an alternative SWOT model is presented which, in which expectations and learning of stakeholders are incorporated. Now, MCQs. MCQ number one. The head of the department XYZ not only orders his residents but also guides them throughout their training program, provide them uh, provide help to uh, them where they need. He also makes sure that each resident is doing his work with proper dedication and also scores them if they are not putting 100% efforts. Which of the following function of management is highlighted here? Directing, controlling, planning, organizing, staffing. B. Yes, B is the right answer. MCQ number two, it was planned that by the end of 2007, 80% of women delivering in village of district A will be assisted by a trained uh, a birth assistant. What is it called? Goal, target, objective, sub-objective, aim. D? It is D, sub-objective. Because time period is very short for one year, if it is more than one year, uh, then it would be objective. MCQ number three, a team manager is motivating team members to achieve their performance targets. He's providing guidance, support, encouragement to help individuals reach their potential. 
uh, which function of management is, is the team manager demonstrating? Planning, organizing, leading, controlling, coordinating. Yes. A. It is C, leading. MCQ number four. Uh, the hospital XYZ announces job vacancies for consultants, residents, nurses. Interviews were conducted, followed by keeping individuals in the proper departments according to their expertise and skills while finding talent to employ. Which management function is discussed here? Planning, directing, organizing, coordinating, staffing. E is the right option, that is staffing. MCQ number five, it was planned to get 12,000 children vaccinated in District A and 72,000 children in District B. This is called target, objective, aim, goal, sub-objective. A? Yes, it is target, right. MCQ number six, monitoring is a continuous process of observing, recording, and reporting on the activities of organization or project. Which of the following is not considered monitoring? Counting the number of people trained, tracking the number of brochures disseminated, attributing changes in health outcomes to an intervention, collecting monthly data on clients served in a clinic, constant resource allocation according to the situation. C is the right option because it is not an example of monitoring. MCQ number seven. Which type of evaluation addresses that medical providers who received intensive STD training were more likely to effectively counsel, screen, and treat patients than those who did not? Process evaluation, outcome evaluation, summative evaluation, formative evaluation, impact evaluation. Our right option is B, outcome evaluation. To what extent have teachers implemented with fidelity evidence-based tobacco use prevention education? The type of evaluation that addresses how well program activities have been implemented is process evaluation, impact, summative, formative, or impact evaluation. Sorry, it should be outcome. Any guess? Is A, process evaluation. MCQ number nine, which statement best describes the relationship between strategic and tactical plans? Strategic plans focus on the overall direction of an organization, while tactical uh, plans focus on the short-term actions needed to realize that strategy. Strategic plans are focused on outcomes that are at least three months out, while tactical plans focus on outcomes that are less than three months away. Tactical plans focus on the overall direction of an organization, uh, while strategic plans focus on the short-term actions needed to realize that strategy, there is no relationship between strategic plans and tactical plans. Any guess? Uh, A is the right option because it best describes the relationship between these two plans as strategic plans uh, focus on overall direction and tactical plans focus on very short-term actions. MCQ number 10, SWOT is a strategic planning tool that assesses strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats of an organization. Which of the following SWOT elements are internal factors for organization? Strength and weakness, opportunities and threats, strengths and opportunities, weakness and threats, strengths and threats. A is the right option. Uh, these two elements, that is strength and weakness, these are the internal factors for an organization. So this is the key of MCQs. This is the YouTube link of presentation. And thank you.